this out. This is the Zambezi River, the fourth largest river in Africa. Okay, now let me see if I can remember. It's the Nile is the first, the Niger is second, Congo is third, Zambezi is fourth. And we just saw, I don't know, something, but I got my binoculars and by the time I'd focused, I couldn't even find what it was. But look at this, and we're staying in a tree house. And we're the only ones here. Nobody else is here. There was evidently another guest and they canceled at the last minute. So, and the airport in Johannesburg was practically empty. This is COVID. This is traveling in the time of COVID. It's just, on some level, it's surreal. Um, oh, I can see something on that island right there. Um, and a little, a little something, and I have no idea what it is. Oh, and we saw baboons on the way in. And we have to lock our doors at night because the monkeys want to come in. I don't think I'd like that, being woken by a monkey. So we're going to be very vigilant about locking our doors. Is this the most amazing place, though? This is Zambia. Here we are. Beautiful. Oh, just beautiful. Amazing. I love Africa. So I just have to tell you, this place is amazing. And as I said before, we're the only people here. It's crazy. Um, there's a huge bird sitting on top of a pile of something. I have no idea what it is, but we've been seeing all kinds of wildlife. And every time I go up to the lodge and I say, oh, we just saw this thing and it looks like a deer, but it's got these white sort of stripes and spots. And they say, oh yes, that's a bushback. I say, okay. And we saw this monkey and we think maybe it's a golden monkey. And they said, no, no, we don't have a golden monkey. That's a something monkey. And you have to lock your doors because of the monkeys. They're very mischievous. And then I saw something on the little island in the Zim Zimbezi, um, it, there's like an island. And I said, well, it looks like a, like a bobcat or something. And she said, oh, that's a monkey. And then I said, well, I saw this thing float like in the, in the river, but it wasn't a crocodile because it didn't have bumps, but it was going along. And she said, I think that was a log. So we're, <laughs> so Richard and I said, we can't ask them anymore what things are because we're just looking more and more stupid. I mean, they're thinking, who are these people and what's wrong with them? Have they never seen any kind of wildlife? And then I have to say, well, you know, we are from New York City. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're going on a little river cruise down the river in a little boat. They have these little boats that are right over here, like right over here that they, they're docked. And there, there's a, a young man who's going to take us down the river. And then after, after lunch, we had to have a COVID test. We're basically having a COVID test every other day. And for the most part, they're fine. But the one we had in Yo Johannesburg, I swear to God, she had, Okay, I think that's a goose. I don't know what it is. I saw an ibis. That's another video. We're gonna do the ibis video. Okay, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, COVID tests. So for the most part, they're fine. But in Johannesburg, she pulls out this swab that's like a foot and a half long. And the thing, it's like a, a, you know, like a Q-tip that you'd put in your ear, but like four times the size. I swear, she's jamming that thing up my nose. And she's saying, well, I think it's blocked. It's like, no, that thing is too big for my nose. It, there's no way it's getting in there. And it hurt so much. And I was sort of doing this where I was, I was gr 
doing this with my fingernails to sort of like move the pain somewhere else. And I just kept going, oh, oh. And then she said, well, it's all over. How was that? And I said, that was the worst one I've ever had. And then she just looked so hurt and I felt terrible, but it really was, it was awful. But the one that we just had here, piece of cake. I said, if those all are like this from now on, I'm, I'm totally fine. But I literally had nightmares, nightmares last night about this COVID test. <sighs> I'll take more video of my computer's broken. You know that by now. I've talked about this. Computer's completely dead, wiped out, took it to a Mac shop. He, he misunderstood, thought I had my time machine with me, wiped the whole thing out. It's like getting a new computer, which I'm gonna have to get because this is, doesn't have enough space. Anyway, who knows when you're gonna see this video? Who knows? Amazing trip, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see what I'm looking at. Wait, no, I have to do it this way. Okay, you can't see, but over there, let's see, right there, is a very, very noisy bird. If you haven't seen the video I did on the river, the little river in the in the um, fiberglass canoe with um, Elwa in Rwanda, when we were up seeing the gorillas, it's in the, it's like in the Brunga um, area of Rwanda. And it's, um, if you haven't seen that video, you have to watch it because the birds are unbelievable. It was the most magical little trip. Richard was sort of like, I'm exhausted. You go on your own. And I went with this young man. He was, could not have been more adorable. We talked about traveling and all the places we want to go. And, um, oh, it was just fab fabulous. And his company is called Kingfisher Kingfisher Tours, something like that. I'm going to put the link below on this video, but also it's already on the link for the video I did um, of that river. It was just amazing. Look at this river. Oh, so it was so funny. I don't know if you can see, but there's some rocks over here. And so I said, we can't tell them that we just saw some hippos because they're really going to laugh. And, and we were both looking and saying, well, maybe they are hippos. No, but they're not moving. So they're, they're definitely rocks. Evidently there are hippos. And all of this, this wildlife just roams around and we're in a tree house on stilts. So like that, stilts. The monkeys can still get at us, but the, but the other animals can't. So, you know. There's a lot of activity around here. Not a lot of people, lots of other activity. Very exciting. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but there's this whole noisy thing going on. And I don't know if there's some sort of mating ritual between this one and, where is it? This one over here. But one of them is being very loud and the other one's just kind of like answering in a more sort of soft kind of like, I can't, I can't mimic it, but you know, a little demure. And I'm thinking this dude, he got up your game, man, cause she's not having it. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but if that's what's happening, <sighs> poor guy, lonely guy, lonely guy, very noisy. And I don't think she's liking it. She's actually walking. Well, she's walking towards him. So maybe she does like it. Well, I see, you never know. And there's a part of me that's saying, babe, you can do better than this. He's very loud. See, he's calm. And oh, see, there he is. Now he stopped because she's come close. Isn't that the way it is? You come over, they stop. I mean, for all I know, this is very appealing to her. When we were out with the gorillas, the silverback was making, they said it's a mating call. And I whispered to it the other couple, the woman and the other couple, I said, well, you notice that no one is coming. I mean, the poor guy. Okay, this is definitely some sort of wild thing happening here. She came right up to him. He made that really weird, like, noise, like an alien. And now she's following him. He walked away from her and now she's following, or maybe he's following her. It's hard to say, I can barely see. 
and I'm sure you can't see it all, so, you know. But that poor silverback, he kept making this mating call, and there was no, no, no takers. Not a one. It was very kind of mournful at a certain point, I felt. I felt bad for him. Look at that river. Zambia. We are in Zambia. So we have to stay away. Do you see they just went under and there are two more right here? Oh my gosh. Right there. We're going towards them? One, two, oh my gosh, there's a whole it's a whole pod. God, look at him. Did you get that? Yes. So Is he coming? Good. He's not coming towards us. <laughs> That's the first sign of aggression. They show off their, their weapons, their teeth. Really? Don't, I've got big teeth. Don't come close. Oh, we want, so we need to stay away. Do they swim fast? They run. They don't swim. They run? They run on the bottom. One we call them, the other name is the little horse. Because of the habit of running on the bottom. Can they run quickly? Yes, they do. 35 to 40 kilometers an hour. Oh my god! I'm actually yeah, more so terrified good. of this thing than I am of the gorillas. I wasn't scared of the gorillas at all. But these guys... So they like sweaty grunts. That's why they spend their hot hours of the day cooling in the water. Uh -huh. At night, when it's nice and cool, they'll come out of the water to go and graze. They can go up to 10 kilometers away from the river just for grazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. They're so big. They're huge. That's just their little tiny head sticking out. Little ears. It's not a little tiny head, it's a huge head. It's a huge head, but it's uh, the little bit that we're seeing looks very small. Is that another one over there? Or is that a rock? Okay. Oh, and this one, he's very close. Oh, he just submerged. He's not gonna come towards us, is he? <laughs> oh my god. So when they open their mouths like that it's a sign of aggression? Yes, that's a good sign of aggression. Okay, well we don't want them to do it again. What's the second sign of aggression? They will come like with their mouth wide open. Towards you? Speed like run towards you. Oh that my god. Well, that's when we gun the motor, right? Unless we are safe with the motor, we can go faster. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a canoe, then it's another story. He got attacked by one in the canoe, Richard. Yeah, they're all over the place. And they're very sneaky the way they go underwater and then poke their little heads out again. Hold their breath for eight minutes before they come up for air. Eight minutes. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at that light. It's just lavender. Like lavender light. Big vultures. I can see the, 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 do you see them? No. The giraffe heads. Oh, they're huge. He's going to swing around. You can't see them here. He has to go this way. 
No, this is so exciting. Okay, vultures. Vultures on that right there. Right there. So the giraffes are just beyond where the vultures are. In that tree, I can see one's head sticking up over the over the shrub. You can just see his head. See where the vultures are in the tree? Now go and then go this way and you can see his head. He's huge. You don't see him. Probably because it looks like a tree. But he's just there are the vultures in the tree, and the head of the giraffe is right there. There's another one moving. Oh, yes, oh, there he is. It. See it? He's moving. Giraffe, vultures, hippos. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, look at them. Aren't they fabulous? Oh, there's a there's three. One, two, three. Uh oh. Oh, he was right in back of us. Oh my god. He was right in back of us. Oh my god. Yes. He was close. <laughs> Uh, he just popped up and went down again. But you know, it, that was too close, so he can't stay there. No. Where? Oh, okay. God, I just love how purple lavender the sky is up right here. Crocodile? Oh yes, 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 I see him. Okay, he's hard to see, but he's right there. Yes. Right here. Yes. See him? It's like that. Hanging out. So is where's is his head sticking up? The, the other way. The oh, tail is in the water. The tail is in the water. Look at all the vultures in the tree. Oh. <laughs> They're what are they? Malibu storks? Yeah. What's the white bird? That's the Malibu. Oh. And what are the ones above? They are all Malibu. Oh, they're all Malibu yeah. storks. The others are giving us the black. That's why you see the black. But they are white on the on the on the bed, on the bread. So the crocodile is just kind of waiting for. He's just time. hanging. Maybe, maybe, is he just basking? Unless we're food, look at him, he is just huge. Yeah. Right. This is a Zimbabwe, an island in the river. And all the, this is a hotel. We're all on stilts. No gas because you have to quarantine for two weeks. So nobody's going to go. Oh, I 
and it's rough for them. Yeah. And there's one back there behind that bush that he says is the male. These are all females. So much bigger in real life. 